Joining me right now are two United States Senators. Senator Chris Murphy is a Democrat from Connecticut who backs Hillary Clinton. Senator Jeff Merkley is a Democrat from Oregon who is supporting Bernie Sanders. So, Senator Merkley, you know what's going on more than as Senator Murphy does because you, you've had access to the candidate who has to make the decision. All this talk about a period of assessment on Wednesday morning by the, by the Sanders campaign, what does it mean? If he comes off of a squeaker winning, beating Hillary Clinton in California, does that mean he goes all the way to Philly and has a roll call on Wednesday in the convention? Fighting it right till then? Well, certainly he said he's going to go back to Vermont and assess. That's, that's uh, what we would expect after the completion of, of the primaries. He's going to be looking at the outcome Tuesday, but he's also going to look at the big issues he's championed in this campaign and the best way to take those issues forward. What did that mean? I'm sorry. That means he's, will, will he fight he, this to the roll call? Well, uh, that's that's why he's going to Vermont. If should should Clinton have as as mathematically? Well, we're going to report anticipate. probably tomorrow night. Everybody knows this. Sometime after New Jersey, that the Secretary Clinton has the requisite combination of super delegates and pledged delegates, one delegates in the primaries and the caucuses, to be the nominee. That's the game. So when when that happens. So what else is to do once the game well, is over? What else are you doing? This, this campaign is about a mission of saying that there are big. Big issues, global warming, cash in politics, living wage jobs, that we have to advance in a passionate and aggressive fashion. And I think that uh, the way that the campaigns carry on a discussion after Tuesday is going to be about how you bring the party together and about how in doing so we position ourselves to aggressively take on those goals that have resonated yeah. so effectively in the grassroots. So you're continuing the moral cause, the issues cause, while recognizing that Hillary Clinton has won the nomination. In my mind, once a candidate has a majority of the, of the regular delegates and a majority of the, of the vote, that speaks for itself in terms of, yeah, of the nomination. Have you told that to the Senator's campaign? Well, I think he's probably heard that from a, a few people. You know, it's so fascinating because it's almost like one of those, I'm not knocking about one of those cartoon figures that goes off the cliff but keeps going. As long as they don't look down, they don't go down. <laughs> it's like Sanders says, I'm here. I'm still a candidate. Uh, these superdelegates could change their mind. They could go with me now. It's all technically true. And he seems to want to live in that universe where it is technically possible for him to sweep the superdelegates and win the nomination. Well, I mean, listen, Bernie is a friend of both of ours, and I think you have to put yourself in his position for a moment. What he has constructed here is really a phenomenon, and yeah. it's a question of whether this phenomenon in the end has a lasting impact on the Democratic Party. And I think that's the question that he's going to have to wrestle with. I think part of his brain tells him that if he sticks it out, that the platform at the committee can better reflect his beliefs. But then there's also this worry that all of these voters that he's mobilized, um, if he stays in perhaps too long, won't stay engaged and be helpful in the general election. So I, I, listen, I think he's in a difficult position here, and he's just trying to figure out how he can take this movement and make it as real as possible. Well, how, how about the human nature part of it? You know, the guy is almost 75. He's got crowds around him like he'll never have again the rest of his life. I mean, just human nature says, wouldn't you like to go out before some incredible barnstorming crowd of 10,000 people tomorrow night and have them all in love with you? I mean, how does he walk away from that? I'm just trying to figure this out human-wise. Well, I think that's where this conversation about bringing the party together and accentuating the effort to take on these issues. We must have a convention where we discuss a national minimum wage increasing substantially. We've got to discuss the pivot off fossil fuels and the and the issue of, of fracking. Uh, we've got okay, to... Do you, what, are you, what are the demands of the... Of, of the Bernie people. Do you want a $15 minimum wage commitment in the Democratic plank? Would I like to see that? Absolutely. Do you want to see a federal ban a pr committed? What I, no, what I care to, may not matter. Do you want a, a federal ban committed to by the Democratic Party on fracking? Would I? Yes, indeed. What do you think will be the negotiation? I, I mean, there are a lot of things. Uh, Health care as a right, free state university college tuition. This is all serious proposals made by Trump. And everybody knows, I'm sorry, by Sanders, and everybody knows where he stands. But this, but this isn't yeah. actually... Is he going to get this? Right, but this isn't a point of division between the Clinton supporters and the Sanders supporters, is, right? You've got plenty of Clinton supporters who are going to want to see a commitment to, uh, uh, to a $15 minimum wage. You're going to see a lot of Clinton supporters who yeah. want to see more progressive policies on Social Security. Preservation. So I don't necessarily think that all these issues are going to line up with Bernie Sanders supporters on one side and Clinton supporters on the other side. Do you think compromise is here? It is. Can you, but the Sanders people who are so rabid, so gung ho, do you think they know what compromise looks like yeah. and they can deal? Like, suppose she says $15 an hour over the next 10 years, or she says, Debt free, we're going to have work study programs guaranteed at every university. We have different ways you can afford college. I'm not going to give it to you. 
the government's not going to pay for your college tuition because there's not there's not any money there. But that there are ways to work for it. You know, those are the types of conversations that I think should take place. Compromise will take place because we are unified. We are completely unified over the fact that Donald Trump is a charlatan. He ran a scam university. He stripped working people of their their money, and his campaign is a scam on a larger scale. He has never woken up one day in his yeah. life and had a concern for working people. When he had a chance to give jobs to Americans, he imported them. He imported workers from overseas yeah. instead. So, so uh, Bernie. Sanders absolutely committed to making okay. sure that Donald Trump is not. Do you think president. the Democratic Party should change its name to what Trump, to what uh, Sanders likes? Democratic Socialist. I think Democratic Social Party Democrat. sound is, is a Are you a Democrat? Name. I'm a Democrat. Are you Socialist? I'm a Democrat. Are you a Socialist? I'm a Democrat. Are you a Socialist? Well, you can call me whatever I'm you want. I'm asking you. Well, listen, Why it, is it so it tricky? Well, because if socialism means that we have affordable health care for American, just tell me how you define it. No, you define it your way. Are you well, a Socialist? Uh, I am a Democrat. I'm a Democrat. The Democratic Party stands for a system that works for working people, okay. and that's what I say. So you don't for. want to answer it? You don't want to answer it? Well, I've, I've answered it. You asked what I am, I'm a Democrat. But you're not a socialist. I'm not a socialist unless you call everyone American socialist who receives Social Security. Yeah, great, okay, great. I, like I, know what you mean. I know what you mean. I know it. It just seems very tricky because Bernie's very happy with that name socialist, and, uh, and other people are not. Listen, don't underestimate, as Jeff said, the, the Republicans will throw this at you come the general election. If it weren't for Trump and they had a regular Republican candidate, they'd be throwing a hammer at you on this. It just, just, back, sickle. just back to Jeff's point, don't underestimate the ability of Donald Trump to unify this party. You'll come out of the convention with some Bernie people upset that they didn't get everything in that platform that they wanted. You'll get some social that show up to that convention upset that the party doesn't reflect their foundational beliefs. Yeah. But Donald Trump will do a pretty fantastic job of unifying the party. How did Nixon get elected president if that's true, the Democrats unite all the time? How did Nixon get elected? How did he get elected? Because well, he did get elected after the 68 yeah. debacle. Well, Donald Trump is is not Richard Nixon. Richard Nixon is not Donald Trump. This is a very different character. It's worse. Yeah, this, this, this is a fundamental shift in the Republican Party okay. that even they don't know what to do with. I don't think we would have had Richard Nixon attack an American judge because they had Mexican ancestry. And I just want to know for Donald Trump, when you have a chance to ask him, because he's German, if he was a judge, would he rule himself out of any, any issue involving someone of a German background? His position is absurd. It's being condemned and rejected throughout the Republican mm -hmm. Party, not only the Democratic Party. We're going to come together and make sure the Democratic nominee well, is Well, maybe president. if somebody called Germans rapists, who knows what people well, would Richard do. Nixon was quietly <laughs> racist behind closed doors, had the good sense not to say it out, out loud. Donald Trump is amazing in that he is proudly racist in many ways. Mm. Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.